All right. Uh, throughout this week, we have been hitting the streets of Israel to talk with Israelis about how they are coping with the war and the aftermath of that horrific terror attack. And we found that for some people, drastic times call for drastic measures. The attacks of October the 7th have left Israelis with a deep sense of vulnerability. Until now, the threat of terrorism had come mostly from the skies or on the streets from a lone attacker. But the horror of hundreds of terrorists seething across the border and slaughtering people in their homes has fundamentally changed the Israeli mindset. What are they doing in response? Follow me. A shooting range is not among the landmarks that immediately come to mind when you think of Jerusalem. But since the terror attacks, Yair Yifrak's gun shop and shooting range has been slammed by people looking for protection. Since October the 7th, how much has business increased? How many people have been for, coming in? In this week, I'm here 23 years here in mm -hmm. this place. I have another place in Jerusalem. I'm never, I'm never don't see like this, I would say the people come like a, like this massa, no way, no way. It's unbelievable what happened. Yair, what are people telling you when you speak to them when they come into the shop to look at a weapon? We are want to protect ourselves. We are need a gun. We are not believe that it's happening in Israel. We are need to be safe. We are not want to fight with anybody. But if somebody but tries to is, kill you, I need to kill him. Also in the Bible, if I come to kill you, you need to kill me before. It's too young. Are people buying weapons because they had always believed that the Israeli army and the police would protect them? We are not huge like America, not 340 million. We are small, small army, small police. And the people think that, yes, we have an army, we have a police. But now he understand that he need to care to himself, to his family, so he need to buy a gun. Yair, did the way Israelis think fundamentally change on uh, October 7th? Absolutely, yes. I talk with the people, I talk with the people, I spoke here, and I see here people that's coming, that's before a few months. Yeah, yeah, for what we need gun, no gun, no gun, we don't need, we don't need. Now you want a gun, why? The mind is changed, a thousand times is changed. Compared to the U.S., in Israel, gun ownership is still pretty rare. And obtaining a firearm is a long process of licensing, which includes lengthy interviews with police, instruction, and training. Of a population of 9.6 million, only 160,000 civilians own guns. But the Interior Ministry is expediting the process because of increased threats against Jews. The Grotsky family lives in a village in the West Bank. Aharon has had a gun for a while now. Gabriel recently obtained his permit. Layla just applied for one. You have just applied yes. for a permit for a firearm. Why did you think it was important um, to get protection? I also always wanted, uh, I've been putting it off for a while, you know, new job, new mm -hmm. apartment, whatever. And after that Saturday, it just became very obvious that I need to be able to protect myself, my family, my community. When you heard about what happened, what yeah. went through your mind in that regard? Uh, complete catastrophe. I, I can't imagine what those people went through, um, but the stories that I've heard of people that did have guns and protection in, in the house did protect so many lives. Do, do you believe that if it came down to it, if somebody came into your house and was going to kill you, that you could pull the trigger? 100%. If they, they, it's like a mama bear inst instinct, right? So anyone that hurts me or my family is... Is it? I, I, no, <laughs> just no. So yeah. let me ask you this question. You've had a, a weapon for a while. Yeah. Were you encouraging them to say, you know what, the, the world out there is changing, you need to have some protection? Yes, I think that anyone that can have a firearm uh, to protect themselves should have a firearm to protect themselves. It's a long, long process. Is it worth it? A hundred percent. For me to have a fighting chance gives me stability and protection that I feel like calmness and I could help I could do something I'm not sitting duck um, and that's very important for me and especially whoever lives I think whoever lives in this country uh, needs that you know since October the 7th there has been a dramatic rise in the number of applications for gun permits they're they're 
People heard the stories, and Layla alluded to it, that uh, we actually talked on this program to a woman whose son uh, had a weapon when the terrorist came in, and he managed to shoot the terrorist dead. Otherwise, he would be among the casualties of this war. Wow. Wow. Just incredible, incredible perspective you're providing, John. Thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.